the podcast. Good morning, Mega Podlings. It's Crazy Joe out for a walk. I haven't done one of these kind of videos in a long time, but the weather is beautiful and I'm walking regularly again. So if I sound a little out of breath, don't mind me. I am asthmatic, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. I wanted to take a moment to talk about Star Trek because yesterday was first contact day, which is interesting because Star Trek, you know, a lot of fans have celebrated Star Trek First Contact Day, which signifies the day the Vulcans first made contact with the humans, as seen in the movie First Contact. That's been a fan thing the fans have done for years, but we've never had an official Star Trek Day. And this year, in September, celebrating the anniversary of Star Trek's debut on television, which is uh, in September. Uh, Paramount and CBS launched the first ever official Star Trek Day. And I think that that was a more appropriate day than First Contact Day, quite frankly. But they used it as a promotional tool to promote the new seasons of uh, Discovery and the upcoming, at the time, Lower Decks. Actually, no, Lower Decks was already on the air at that time. Or was it? I can't remember, my head's a scramble. But now, for the first time ever, Paramount and CBS have made an official uh, celebration of First Contact Day. Why? Because it's a perfect opportunity to promote their shows. And as such, we got the first trailer for season four. Season four of Star Trek Discovery. Season two of Picard. Now, Picard just started shooting, so it was a teaser trailer. It was very much a teaser trailer. But that said, that teaser trailer told us a lot. And season two of Lower Decks got a trailer. And Lower Decks actually got a premiere date. Lower Decks is coming back this August. So the next Star Trek we get on television will be Lower Decks. Then it looks like after that, we will get another season of Discovery. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that we'll probably get Discovery somewhere around November or December, because it did say it was coming this year in 01. So I'm guessing that will be sometime in the fourth quarter. And then Picard is coming in 2022. So there you go. I am very excited. Uh, season two of Lower Decks. We saw some Lower Decks, man. What a surprise Lower Decks was. Uh, the first ever comedy Star Trek series, frankly, could have gone either way. Could have been great, could have been terrible. Didn't really know what to expect because we never had that before. But it turned out to be a real delight. I found a lot of the people who hate some of the modern shows like Discovery actually embraced Lower Decks. So it's like, Here's a Star Trek show that even won over some of the current day Star Trek haters, which was a bit of a surprise to me. But yeah, a lot of the Trek trolls actually embraced Lower Decks. So there you go. Lower Decks is not my favorite of the modern day Trek series. That would be Discovery. I think the flagship Trek series is still the best Trek series. But Lower Decks was a great surprise, and it was a lot of fun. And Season 2 looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Picking up where Season 1 left off, Boimler is now a crew member under Riker on the Titan. So Jonathan Frakes will be back as Riker. And I'm sure at some point, Boimler will end up coming back to the Cerritos. Because they're not going to keep the cast split up between two different ships. I don't think they will. But I saw one of my favorite aliens in the Lower Decks trailer. I always say my two favorite Star Trek aliens are the Gorn and the Magatu. And there was a Magatu in the trailer for Lower Decks Season 2. So that was really exciting. I'm very happy that we're going to be getting more Lower Decks in August. Wish it was sooner, frankly. Wish it was sooner. Then we got Discovery, trailer for season four of Discovery, my favorite of the modern day Trek shows, and my third favorite Star Trek series overall. My favorite Star Trek series is Deep Space Nine. My second favorite is the original series. And Discovery has more or less replaced Next Generation as my third favorite. Next Generation is now my fourth favorite Star Trek series. 
because Discovery just has more consistently better writing. The next generation does. But season four, Burnham, Captain Michael Burnham. She's the captain now. And the first thing we notice in this trailer is they've got new uniforms. And my God, the new uniforms are beautiful. They just pop, man. They just pop. I thought the new uniforms they got at the end of season three were very good. They were gray. They could have used like a belt or something. They looked a little, they looked a little weird the way they hung. It was almost like Odo. In season one and two of Deep Space Nine, Odo didn't quite look right. Then they gave him a belt and he looked better. <laughs> so it's like the uniforms look like they needed like a belt or something. But the uniforms we got in season three, the gray uniforms, they weren't bad. But my God, the ones in season four are much better. They are colors, the, the you know, red, gold, blue, and they just pop. They look great to the eye. If I had one nitpick, and I know this is a minor nitpick coming from an old school Trek fan from the days before there was a next generation. I wish they would go back to making gold command because red has been command since the time of the next generation. But if you go back to the original series, gold was command. And I'd like to see them bring that back, which sadly they are not doing. But again, that's a minor nitpick. So everything looks great for Star Trek Discovery season four. I can't wait. But then the big news, the big bomb was dropped. Season two of Picard. We got a teaser trailer and it was very much a teaser, mostly voiceover because they did just start shooting season two of Picard. So all they had to show us was voiceover. And uh, the big reveal, Q is coming back. John Delancey will be back as Q in season two of Picard. And I don't know how anyone can be a Trek fan and not geek out over that. I mean, from the day we heard Picard was coming back on his own show, I think we all secretly just kind of, maybe not so secretly, we just hoped. We hoped Q would come back and it's gonna happen. So, whereas I liked I liked season one of Picard, but of all the modern day Trek shows, Picard has been my least favorite. Uh, there's nothing, well, for one thing, I don't like the profanity. The profanity felt very un Star Trek. It didn't belong there. And I felt like it was there just to go, ooh, look how edgy we are. We're saying the F word. We're so edgy, you know? It's like, didn't really serve the story. It was gratuitous. So I didn't care for the profanity, but I could, but you know, the stories were good. So I could have looked past that. My main issue with season one of Picard was the pacing. Uh, really strong premiere, love the premiere. Great finale, season finale of Picard was great. But in the middle, felt like it took them, like they were on episode five and they were still putting the crew together. And I'm like, wait a minute, you're halfway through the season and you're still putting your crew together. Come on, man. Let's get off on this mission. We shouldn't still be putting the team together on episode five out of 10. So that's my one complaint with season one of Picard was the pacing. But season two of Picard now, with Q coming back, man, I am amped and that might be the one I'm most excited for, which I didn't think I'd see coming. Now we're not gonna get Picard until 2022 because they shoot in California which means that they got back to filming a little later than Discovery did. Discovery shooting in Canada, they were able to get back on set a little quicker, but that's okay. Quality is what matters. As long as it's good, I can wait for it. So there you go. I think if there's one complaint I have about season, uh, or about, about Star Trek First Contact Day, it's that we didn't get a trailer for Strange New Worlds. Now you could say, but hey, Strange New Worlds just started filming. Well, so did Picard. Picard just started filming too. You know, we could have gotten a teaser. We could have gotten one of those voiceover jobs like they gave Picard. Wish they gave us something for Strange New Worlds, but they didn't, they didn't. And it is what it is, but I'm very excited about Strange New Worlds. 
Uh, it's a good time. It's a good time to be a Star Trek fan. And I'm uh, very happy that we're getting such good quality Star Trek right now. It's amazing. And uh, man, bring on Lower Decks season two. And here's the other big news. Lower Decks has already been renewed for season three. So boom, you're getting a third season of Lower Decks. I am really happy. Now what I really want is a Hallmark Christmas ornament of the USS Cerritos. We need a Hallmark ornament of the Cerritos. This year we're getting the, what's Picard's ship? The La Serena or whatever it's called, or I might have the name wrong. The ship from Picard is going to be this year's Hallmark Christmas tree ornament. And I will have that hanging from my tree this Christmas, you can guarantee it. But I can't wait to get, I, I actually want the Cerritos more. So hopefully next year, we will have the Cerritos hanging from a Christmas tree. Time will tell. All right, guys. Hope you had a great first contact day. Hope you're as excited as I am for all the upcoming Star Trek we got coming our way. I'm so excited. It's, it's man, I'm also a little out of breath because I'm not only walking, but I'm also talking quite loudly. All right, guys. Live long and prosper. Keep wearing those pajamas. Damn you, Grover Cleveland. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Oh, it's a trap. Some people call them bitches. Some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now the song is done.